welcome guys welcome to my channel today I'm just going to show you how to configure Cisco firepower services so first of all what's the Cisco firepower services so usually in all other network devices we already have like a IPS uh, AMP this kind of stuff in build but for Cisco it takes two different modules in a one device so you can get all that functionality called IPS and intrusion, URL filtering, advanced malware protection and a lot of stuff and usually Cisco is very good in IT industries they have a licenses you have to buy it comes in one year, three year or five year subscription so which include intrusion prevention system URL filtering and then again advanced malware protection Cisco line like a ASA 5506 and 5508 offers the ability to add firepower services like you have to just buy a, a hardware it will pre-install like firepower module services and then you have to buy just additional licenses to provide like a higher level of protection so even um, you can buy a license for one year three years and five years so so how it's working so let me show you so suppose you have a internet coming in from outside and then it goes to your Cisco ASA device okay so then you already have firepower module install so what it will do all requests coming from internet goes to ASA then ASA forward all requests to firepower for further inspection like we already discussed antivirus and other stuff once it passed firepower then it will forward to my internal network where the destination packet so you can do this vice versa like the packet going from inside to outside we can inspect and from coming from outside to inside we can inspect so it's a bi-directional we can say so again the packet coming from internet like a VPN coming and then it will check over access rules all that NAT stuff it's allowed then it will forward my request to firepower services inside module which is already inbuilt on my ASDM so once it goes to firepower then my firepower check access policy like that we have to allow or we have to discard the packet according to the over policy if it detects maybe we have a license for advanced malware protection and someone trying to come and trying to hack or putting some malicious file it detect because my ASA forward all packet to firepower for inspection if my firepower is okay and found now that packet is good then it forward to my internal network so that's the dashboard usually we see in if we have only Cisco ASA we will never see the packer like uh, and we just see these two tabs device dashboard and firewall dashboard we never see ASA firepower dashboard reporting or status like kind of tabs and we have to configure this all stuff if I'm going to ASA firepower you can see here I uh, I already have policies created if I go here and let me show you if I'm going access control policy I already created policy we will discuss later this one first let me go to licenses so if I go to license tab and you can see uh, I have a, like ASA 5508 model and having protection and control license which is already activate and used it's a expires never so I got the device with pre-install of firepower I have to just enable the license I got a pack key which I have to register with my account and then I have to bind it license with the, my device once I did you also can see I have a license for URL filtering and malware protection but I don't have any license for these stuff so if you buy license for these stuff you can buy for this and let me if I go back here I already configured my ASA to forward all requests coming from outside to inside or inside to outside 
go to fire firepower then my firepower check as you can see I have a first rule block sites like if I let me show edit I go to URL and then uh, I already added like a selected URLs like a test and here I can see what's inside the test one so if URL and then I go to individual objects you can see I already have six sites blocked like Facebook Instagram or Twitter and then I put all that six into one object group called test and then I created my access policy like here you go let let it run then I have a policy like a network like what network I want to block my private network okay that's fine and then it's showing which kind of URL I want to block I put test so now my when my user is going out ASA will check policy it's CEO it's allowed netting rules all then it form my request to firepower to for further inspection from inside to outside as well then I put like a if he's trying to go any further side block it here you can see I put Instagram it block let me try to put like a facebook.com it will not work if I try any other side like yahoo.com you will see it will work that's the reason because I have a URL filtering in place the only thing if I go to license I can show you even I don't have a license for URL filtering still I'm able to block sites so there is one difference if you have a URL filtering license I can go here access policy and once I go access control policy and let me edit my rule you can see in URL if I going I already have a categories alcohol like a board nets uh, abuse drugs I'm just have to put add to rule like this and save then it automatically it has a database from Cisco for URL filtering but I don't have license if I add this one right now and save it I will get error so that's the only thing if you buy a license Cisco will give you all that list so like if I want to block Facebook or this kind of sites I just go to like a social networking like here it will block all that site Instagram Twitter all that stuff so that's the benefits of buying URL filtering license yes and if you also buying a AMP license like advanced malware protection then I can show you one thing if I go here like a file so we go to files here so I already created like a rule here so you have to just create a like I can create now new rule let's say test second and then store so here then you have to click add rules and you will see already have so many rules from Cisco if you have a license you can just select add and store but I will get error if I will trying to store because I don't have license right now for that once you have this and then just go to access control policy and where you have a policy in place like I have one policy block sites and then I have a, a lot other everything then go back here and then you will see option in inspection if you click you can just click here like a file policy which we created test 2 for AMP and then save it then it will do all that functionality which advanced malware protection for further inspection of viruses all that stuff so let me cancel this one just say and then even if we go to home you can see uh, let me go to a ASAP firepower dashboards so I have the latest version 6.2 and I have a rule update even 2018 on my ASA device and if you can see uh, I already my policy is working or not I can go to here like see all my data block Facebook I'm getting all the data visual on ASA firepower reporting tab and you can go further for further inspection like which protocol I'm using HTTPS or TeamViewer or any other application you're using so that's very much guys if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button thanks for watching